Welcome to this tutorial. Um, this is the sixth installment on our forum tutorial that we have been creating over the past couple days. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to actually apply our categories and subcategories to our forum layout. All right. Um, we're going to use a nice little structured layout using our style sheet. Our style sheet here. Um, um, let's see. As you can see, we have content and the tables and set and the input select and the text area inside of it. The content is just like user info, and um, but this will be used just for content only. All right, now I, I'm going to uh, go to our index here, and um, up where we have PHP up here, we're going to specify a variable called action, and we're going to call this get act using the get method and then we're going to specify action actions array and we're going to do an array here we're going to do uh, forum as our only one alright now right after this div layer here our user info which contains uh, our user stuff here um, we're going to create a new one. So I'm going to put a couple breaks and a little tab. And we're going to call this div ID equals content. All right, we'll close it up. And uh, we're going to start some PHP in here. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay, we're going to go PHP and close it. And now we're going to do if act doesn't exist or or act isn't in the array of oh we specified it's called action not act and uh, or action isn't in the actions array then we're going to uh, perform a little layout made of that'll show all our categories and subcategories okay so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new query um, I'm just going to start renaming stuff now um, because I don't want to go into like a hundred queries so we're going to do select star from forum cats alright and um, we're going to do where admin is less than row admin plus one okay and this will select um, all the forum categories below um, that so uh, admins with a level zero it'll be added so where the forum category has an admin of zero it'll be there because it's underneath one now we're gonna clear this out all right and now we're going to do a while statement so while row two, we'll call it row two now it was my SQL fetch a source press one and this is where we're going to um, start echoing out um, where the forums will be held. So we're going to call this. We're going to do a echo. Actually, we're going to go to create a new part of our style sheet. So let's go to style.css. And we'll call this content. And we'll do header. All right. And we'll do... Um, border zero pixels background color number one two three like so we'll change the color to a nice deep red okay um font family will go to homa font size we will go with ten points and uh, we can add one pixels of padding to make things look a little neater and here we're going to echo div id equals content okay and now we're going to echo div id equals header and then so we're going to call row to name just like so and now we're going to put a couple breaks down and close and close this one here all right now inside of here we're going to create another query we're going to do squall2 
equals select star from forum subcats where CID equals row 2 ID and admin is less than row admin plus 1. Let's query this out. Alrighty then. And here we're going to create another content section. So div ID equals content. And we're going to echo the first name or the name of it. We're going to put it in a link though. So index.php act equals forum and ID. Oh, I'm completely missing something here. We have to do another while statement. So while row three, because my sequel my sequel fetch a social rest two. Now we'll go ahead and echo out this. Div ID equals content. And then we're going to echo uh, a href equals index.php act equals forum and ID equals row three ID and they're going to call the name on this, so row through name and we'll put uh, closing it like that and now we're going to echo our description row three desk basically close it like that and we're going to end this content section here and um, let's go give this a shot. So let's refresh, check for any errors, of course. There you have it. You have admin only, and we have main chat. This place is for talking about anything. All right, now is what I'm going to do is, um, well, I suppose that looks pretty, pretty fair. I'm going to actually go into our style sheet, and uh, we're going to copy this, our content, and we're going to scroll down and we're going to call this F content. And we'll do uh, just like that. We're going to change this to F content. We're going to change the padding on this so it's going to be 5 pixels. And uh, we'll go into our index here. And I believe it's this one right here. We'll save it and we'll go ahead and refresh. There you have it. It's a little more spaced out a little easier to read. Alright, um, on our header here, I'm going to um, add a little uh, indent, so uh, padding left, uh, we'll do 10 pixels. We'll go ahead and refresh, just like so, it's a little easier to see now. Okay, and I believe I'm going to put some more padding on that. I'll put 3 just so it looks a little evenish. That's a lot better. All right. And now what I want to do is I want to create it so when you roll over it, it changes the color. So we'll do F content header, and uh, we're going to call this header B. We'll do background color number E, number E, 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 just like so. Okay, now we're going to our index here. We're going to go to where we have our JavaScript. We're going to do a uh, function change style, like so. And we're going to call this new style. And we're going to call it, um, actually, let's simplify this and just put it into our actual coding here. So where we have um, our header, right here, so we'll do on mouse over. And I'm going to change this to a class. So I'm going to go over here and change this here to this there. All right, we'll go to our index. And we'll do mouse over equals this class equals header B. And then on mouse out equals this class equals header. We'll give this a go. Refresh. 
Okay, obviously it doesn't want to work for us. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we have any errors. Okay, I'm going to put an ID on this just so it can be relatively uh, fair. So I'm going to do uh, header underscore I. And I'm going to go here and uh, create I equals 1. And then inside this, I'm going to do an I plus plus so they're all unique and don't change at the same time. Alright, well, that obviously doesn't work. Um, let's make sure we have it all right. I'm going to delete this here. And delete that there. Save it. Go ahead. Okay, and since we're only changing the background, of course, we can only change this to uh, this. Oh, I know what it is. It's this class name. Common error, of course. We'll go ahead and uh, relink this to F content. F content. All right, we'll go ahead and test this. There you have it. Okay, you can see that the font uh, changes and stuff. So we have to go ahead and um, add all the necessary stuff. So padding three picks, padding left ten pixels, and actually I'm going to change the background color to a nice. Um, Hmm, how about white? We'll go ahead and test this. Yeah, that looks a little tacky. Um, so I'm actually I'm gonna keep the same color, but I'm going to add a border on this. We'll add a one pixel black border. Save it. Alright. Alright, that seems fair enough. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a one pixel board to this. Just so um, you can see that it doesn't obviously change. And now it's just adding an actual border. Okay, now you can see on this, when we hover over it, it says form ID equals 1, ID equals 2. We're going to go to our admin section. And we're going to create another form subcategory just so we can see it. We will call this uh, media. Talk about anything related to the media. Add form. Okay. Now you can see there's two in this, one in this, and um, yeah, that's that's a fair amount. And we're gonna go back into here, and on our in oh, on our uh, little index here. We're going to um, add some links here. So we're going to echo a href equals index.php. We're going to do this forum index, just like that. And now if this row admin here, we're going to do this, just so it's a little separated, just like that. And what we're going to do here is we're going to actually add this in as well to our admin section. Right here. And we'll put the space, the pipe, and the space. We'll go into our admin section. There we have it. Alright, well, this is that. This is this for this tutorial. Um, I'm not sure we're going to do our next tutorial. Probably create actual little f topic table. Um, Alright, well if you would like to continue seeing these videos as soon as I upload them and the uh, continuous installments to this uh, little project, uh, please subscribe. You'll get my videos as soon as I upload them. Also, uh, please rate my videos, um, comment, I will reply to any positive or negative. And uh, yeah, this video will be available in high definition. Uh, and the link will be in the video description. Please check that out. And I'll see you next time.